Viewing a Sham Battle Between a Lot of Boys in the War Days by S.C. Turnbow It is something interesting to think how the war spirit took possession of the little boys in some localities as well as the older people when the Civil War broke out. Now This was prevalent on several occasions in northern Arkansas. Now, I remember one beautiful Sunday in the month of February, 1862, that I and Tom Anderson, a merchant of Forsyth, Missouri, were together going from Yellville, Marion County. The main road from Forsyth to Yellville led down George's Creek then, and we followed this road, and just before arriving at the South Foot Bill Woods Mill on George's Creek, where the John B. Hudson residence is now, which is six one half miles north of Yellville, we saw a large crowd of big and little boys engaged in a sham fight. Now the war spirit ran high among the adult population of Marion County, and it seemed that the same spirit had affected the young as well as the old. The youngsters were divided in two companies, one which represented the South and the other the North. Now both sides were lined up in battle array. Now we stopped and sat on our horses and viewed their actions and methods of war. They soon got themselves ready for battle, and they went at it as if they were in earnest. Now both sides had a commander when the sham fight opened up, and it looked like a real fight indeed. One line would charge the other in a mix-up fight, and hand-to-hand -hand encounter would ensue. Then one side or the other would retreat a short distance and half and reform and renew the attack. Both sides captured prisoners and paroled them on the spot. It was a long, fierce encounter to be a sham battle, but all the boys seemed to be in splendid humor and laughed and cheered as the fight went on. Finally, I and Anderson observed the boys who represented the South were getting the worst of it. And it was not long after this that the exultant boys who represented the Stars and Stripes captured all the southern side and paroled them and the battle was closed. The outcome of this sham encounter between these juveniles appeared to be a bad omen for our brave southern army. After all, the boys had become quiet and had a drink of water and were seated to rest their weary limbs. Tom Anderson remarked, if we of the South get threshed that bad, we had better make up with the North and quit now.